what up, so guys? <laughs> this your boy Kingdom Breaker, and I'm back with another video. As you know, if you can connect with KB, it's out with me. So, y'all, I hope that y'all like my new intro and my outro is gonna be at the end of this video. I have worked really hard on this stuff and everything, so I hope that y'all enjoy it and everything. I like it, so that's all that matters. Okay. So, happy Pride Month to every LGBT community subscriber and who all straight people who are um supportive of me and also support of the LGBT community. Y'all are the goats and I love y'all too. So, as you have to see by the top below, we are doing stereotypes that's gay stereotypes and stuff. It's not it's a big thing, but I'm gonna try to make it as funny as possible, you know. So I hope that y'all stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Got too many people who watch my videos who are not subscribed. I check my analytics. Mm -hmm. So, my well subscribe and everything. And comment down below video ideas. And let's get right into this. Okay. Okay. So, gay stereotyping. It's basically like they trying to say like we can't do certain stuff or it's not a certain thing we're supposed to do or whatever. So I'm going to give y'all a couple of examples and everything. I'm going to just try to be as funny as possible. So I have heard this too many times of this. You are too cute to be gay. Let us sit in. How are you too cute to be gay? Anybody can be gay. Even ugly people. Wait, but... Not... Let me... Well, yeah, ugly people can be gay. <laughs> I'm not saying everybody is ugly because I love everybody, but mm, some people are gay and they not fit for it. But yeah, anyway, you're too cute to get gay. I really don't understand the meaning of that. Like, what you be looking good, meaning you can be gay. I've seen people that's beautiful and everyone is beautiful. I see people who look good who are gay, so I don't really don't understand that perspective. So, really don't. Okay, and um, another one. Um, you don't look gay. They don't really know what gay here to look. It really doesn't. In the dictionary, gay means happy. So, I really don't get it. But people have put in perspective. In today's society, if you are gay, you are more more likely you are feminine. You wear makeup, you wear dresses and stuff. Gay does not have a look, okay? Gay does not have a look. You see this? I am masculine. Wear boy stuff, act like a boy. Check the theories and stuff. Not saying everybody is like that, but some people do have stuff like that, you know, type thing. So don't stereotype people because gay does not have a look. You can look like anything and still feel the way you feel and stuff. And nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> so. Damn, I'll have to cut it off right here because I can't think of anything. <laughs> Okay, so I have seen a little bit of this in society a little bit. I have had times where certain people be like, so I call you this or so I call you so. Like I said, I've seen this a little bit, but that's a little stereotyping. Um, I will honestly Basic, it's basically whatever anybody feels they want to be called. You should call them that. But don't call them that just out of spite. You know, me, honestly, I'd rather you call me Malik. Use my nickname, Leek. Or if you're just prone to just using formalities, just call me Kingdom Breaker. Either one. But I said to anyway. But so. Now, don't get me wrong, I have had a couple of people call me that, and I just let it slip by, because honestly, I really don't care, but honestly, like, 
I know that I'm a boy and everything and everything, so I wouldn't, I'd probably be better fitted as bruh or either friend or something like that, but don't call me so. It's like, it's not like it's a bad thing, but I know I'm a boy, so don't call me so. Okay. Not picking on anyone. Just saying. <laughs> and stuff, so yeah. Call me. Don't call me so. <laughs> now, this is a random one. Um, Y'all gays are all the same. Well, no, we're not. Go ahead, tell you that. Okay, so, gay, gay people. When they say gay people are the same, you know there's different categories of gay and everything. That's why it's part of the LGBT community. You got your gay, your lesbians, your transgenders, and everything. But everybody gonna consider you gay, so it is what it is. But we are all not the same. And so we are all, all don't get us wrong, we all part of the same community and we all love one to one another for who we are, but we are not the same in terms of personality and everything. Because what you have to get in our community, I'm not talking about us. There are messy people who want to fight or do certain things and do unnecessary stuff. There is that. Not picking on anyone, but it's kind of true. Then you have people who are chill back, like myself, who don't do anything but try to spread positivity about the community and just chill they back, don't mess with nobody and stuff. And then you have people who just like, I don't, I, I really can't say anything. But yeah, especially in different formats, that's why we have the certain categories. There's gay, you have the me, I like boys. Girls, like girls, but that's what the L means, lesbian. Girl like girls, gay, boy like boys. And you got transgender, either a boy, boy changes his gender to a girl, or a girl changes his gender to boy. And so then you have bisexual. Who um a, um a boy or girl likes the both genders and everything and so and there's a lot of more categories out there like non-binary, asexual and everything. But I'm not going to get into the detail about that. But I'm just saying like not everyone is the same. Not all gay people are the same and so so please don't cat categorize us as the same. Yes, we are part of the same community and we all love each other and want one another. But there are some stuff that still go on in the, in the community that is very different. So, it's really different is good. So, it's not a bad thing. So, <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, different is a good thing. But there's a lot of different stuff that goes on in the community. So, just let you know that. And everything. <laughs> okay. So, I have had experience with this stereotype. I'm not going to lie. Um, you never know if you never try, cause you always look, um, you should be with a woman and stuff. I don't see you as gay. Hold the books. Okay. <laughs> what you don't never get is you'll never know what you have in my shoes until you walk it. Just because you're not gay don't mean nothing. You had the chance, you... You know the feeling and everything. It's just the, it's the same feeling as you get when you first knew you liked it a girl. We know what we liked it. Same thing. And they're always saying, you never know till you try it. I hate that to the period, but I always cut them off with this. You never know you ain't gay unless you try this. And that's just point me period. You never know until you try it. Not picking on anyone and stuff, but I have had the experience of people who say, you never know till you try it. But that go both ways. You never know if you're straight, if you never went with, did this with this person. You never know if you're gay, if you never did it with this person and stuff. Now, I'm gonna tell you straight up, I had plenty of girlfriends and stuff, and I know for sure I don't like girls and everything. So please do not jump on me about no stuff, dumb stuff like that. You know, you know, 
you had experience. Now, I get if you like young as hell and you saying that like damn near 10, no, you still too you still too young to determine that. But if you feel like you're ready, by all means, go ahead. But I feel like some people are young as themselves, some come out to like experience mode or anything, or just like wait till they like actually old enough. I give it to about like high school to actually know because that's usually when people determine it and stuff. So yeah, but yeah, I hate that type of stereotype. You never know until you try it. You never know if you try the girl. And no, I know what I like, I know what I've been through. You just don't know because you've never done it. I'm not saying <laughs> but I'm just saying like please don't come for me so, I know I like I dealt with this for years and everything no no I'm good over here you go over there good keep it moving <laughs> but no hate towards nobody I just had experience with this before it's like the person didn't try to do in like ill will towards no ill will towards is the fact like you have to kind of understand what's what not to say and what not to ask type stuff but moving on um i think my last last one i think stereotype this is a weird one so go ahead and tell you like it's like pg-13 is so i advise you if you're younger than that but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. <laughs> Especially parents, if you see your kids watching this, this is not my fault. You should have blocked the videos. <laughs> so, um, I have had the experience to tell me to my, oh, you look like, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. If y'all don't know y'all things about gay um, intercourse, I'm gonna go ahead and just say the proper term because I'm not gonna get too much into the gay intercourse, there's a top, there's a bottom, and there's a verse. Okay. Top is one who who hits the back. The bottom is the one who takes it from the back. The verse does both. Everything. So, that's just plain and simple. So, I had had someone ask me, you look like you might be such and such how can you tell that you don't really know until like you actually do the intercourse you know which which person plays unless they actually tells you right? until they actually tells you like me i'm not gonna tell y'all i'm not gonna tell y'all what i do because y'all nasty okay <laughs> you're nasty but um yeah, it's like, you can't determine a person's position based on how they look. You don't know until that person actually tells you or until you actually see it in the bedroom. So, I'm going to tell you that. And everything, so, yeah. So, don't stereotype people based off of little stuff and everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and just tell y'all that. And stuff. I ain't trying to make this video long. I know the video just kind of just came out the blue. I want to do something LGBT community. I try to make it as fun as possible. I try to um basically pull out some viewpoints so people don't stereotype as much and everything. So I hope that y'all enjoy it and everything. Don't come for me. I'm just messing with y'all. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, but yeah. So I just want to make this video and everything it's just short and sweet and everything because like I said I ain't post a video in like two days I hope I don't lose any subscribers from this and everything I got to post about my LGBT community every now and then because you know if you don't know if you know I am gay and I have to, I feel like why I am doing YouTube I still have to at least post some type of topic and everything and stuff I like to post stuff on my Facebook my Instagram my snapchat and stuff and I gotta at least be some type of advocate for it and everything and post because I'm not ashamed of it so yeah so if y'all watching I hope that y'all enjoy it I love my LGBT community happy pride month to everybody that I know our pride month is kind of set back 
and stuff with all this virus and stuff but we are continuing to be us and everything and i love y'all so never stop being you and everything and just continue to be great and everything like comment and subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. if you're new to the channel please subscribe i hope that y'all enjoyed please watch my old videos if you want to get a look at my personality and me as a whole because this has been a long journey and we're just gonna keep on going and everything and come down below video ideas as y'all know so if you haven't you will now see my outro and i'll see and i will see y'all next time and that's just on period bye guys